Coach is excited to show the newer model here. The newer model, which you can see is the same size as the previous models. Uh, only thing we just changed was there's no button on the in the middle here anymore. And just aesthetically, we just moved that sticker over to the left instead of in the middle. But uh, same, like I said, same size, just some uh, little different functionality as far as processor and those types of things. But um, still black and white. No different there. Um, we just changed the UI that you'll see on the video coming up and uh, excited to get you guys powered up with the coach pad. Coaches, this is going to be a short video showing the newer model of the coach pad and getting started with it. You'll notice that uh, things are a little different on the front. There is no more button down here in the middle uh, to use as a back button. We got rid of that. Uh, you'll know you kind of have a newer model because we now put the, the sticker over on the side, just make it look a little uh, differently, uh, different aesthetically. And so we can tell that you have one of the newer models. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through some of the, the very basics of getting started with the newer model. And then uh, more videos will be to come on showing you some of the features. Now, just like on the previous models, the power button is going to be up here in that top corner area. So you're just gonna press that to turn it on. The bottom of the coach pad now only has one port on it. You'll see the one port over here on the left for the USB-C charger and to transfer files. So we'll go ahead and get started turning it on by holding down the button for a couple seconds and powering it up. Coaches, now that it has fully turned on, you'll notice that if you have a, a previous model of the coach pad, this model will look a, a lot different when you first turn it on. If this is your first uh, device, first coach pad, then uh, you won't know any different. Uh, but just want to let everybody know the, the front, uh, we're trying to change the user interface uh, to make it real simple for coaches. We're going to either go to the library or the notes. Those seem to be the two main areas that coaches are using, library and notes. And then we have a couple apps uh, that people are using down here on the bottom and, and down here as well. So to get started, you know, you're on the, this, this kind of called the home screen. And so from the home screen, if I just touch on the word library, then I'll go to the library or the little arrow there and I'll go to the library. You'll notice there's no more uh, kind of toolbar along the side here. You now have the uh, back button down on the bottom. And there's another way, so you would just press that to go back to this screen. If I'm on a screen and I want to return to the home page, another thing is you can take the navigation ball and, and double tap on that twice. So double tap that twice, go back to the home. And then we also put on the uh, navigation ball. When you just touch it once, you'll get the, uh, the, the selections. And then we added the home button there to where you can press that home button to uh, go back. Okay. So there is uh, some kind of, you know, quick navigation wise. And then if you want to go to the notes, then you would just touch the notes over here. You can add a note directly from that plus sign. You would go here and then you would start your create notepad. And, and like I uh, showed on a, with the new update is now when you go here, you're going to be able to add a handwriting note or add a text note. The text note would be like, if you want to do a, um, Bluetooth keyboard that are getting more popular. Coaches wanted to do this for meetings to be able to type their notes about a about a team or or um, you know a scouting report or whatever. But uh, you know, it comes to drawing, drawing those scout cards. Uh, you'll be on the handwriting side, and then you're going to go over here to custom. And when you go to custom, you'll see the three folders that are provided, and you can go in there. Uh, I'm just going to choose the portrait. I kind of like this one down here. You just touch that that uh, template that you want. And then you'll go in there and you'll create your notepad and, and start drawing. You have your, your stylus is selected there. You can rename the notepad by pressing the, uh, the little uh, pencil icon and you can rename that. Um, you have some selections over here. The layers, again, remember, uh, are now the layers. You can access the templates if you want to change the template or if you want to hit templates. It kind of takes you to the same spot and uh, from there you can add a template so kind of two ways to uh, to do that and then we have some other features along the side here the control tab is now where you can uh, 
can turn the touch on or off. Remember the touch when it's not, uh, when there's no line through it. I can go in here and I can actually zoom in on this and zoom back. And then if I want to disable that, then I would go here and I would hit that touch. It's now disabled. And so now I cannot do the zooming that you uh, could do before. So that's where that's all going to happen here in the touch uh, section. And there's a lot of other, there's, you know, quite a few other things that we can do here, but I just kind of wanted to show the real basics right now. As you start drawing a, a play, um, you can erase with the back of the stylus. And so then when you want to add a new page, you just hit the plus sign. Now you're on the page two of two. You can touch the pages up here to get that thumbnail view. And that thumbnail view, now you can see those. And, and we're going to do some more videos on things you can do here. Um, you can go back. And then you can navigate back to the previous page. Again, you can erase and go from there, rename. So just some real quick things to get you going there. Again, I can get back to the home screen a couple different ways. I'm just going to double tap that navigation ball that takes me back. Now my notepads will be listed here. And then I have, uh, again, some other apps. I can also get down as we maybe, as you maybe add some other apps. This is just a quick reference down here that you can hit the, uh, the notes to go to the notes or you can hit the uh, library to go directly to the library down there as well. So just trying to offer some different ways to get there and uh, help you out. And when you're in the library, you know, a lot of coaches like seeing the football resources. I'm going to have, I have a video on connecting the USB cord and, and getting a coach pad on, or getting, I'm sorry, getting a scout card on the coach pad. But we do that. I have the uh, football folder selected. If you want to create your own, then, then we'll go in here and we'll go to library settings in the storage, I'm scanning these, and so we'll be able to go here and we'll be able to maybe add a custom uh, football team to you, uh, folder, scout cards, or whatever, and then we'll be able to add that so that they'll pop up here and uh, and show right up. But you can go in here to the uh, football resources, take a look at some of the things we already got going on. I'm just going to uh, select this Aranda one. So in here, here's an example. We got the football. Over here, your, your selection, we have the stylus. You know, I can take notes on here. Uh, that'll all save. I can, you know, again, erase with the back of the stylus. Uh, I can see my thumb cards or how many thumbnails I have. And you can go up to 16 at a time, choosing down here. So quickly jump into a page, showing some real neat things. I, I'm not too big on the OCR. Uh, we'll explain that more in another video. Um, but again, if I want to go back, I can swipe up and there I have my access to my back button there. And I can always double tap to kind of return to the home. So some quick navigation there and I can just touch on the, the file and go right to that book or right to that uh, scout card or huddle practice script, pro quick draw, you name it. Um, there's my pinch to zoom. So I can also zoom in here and check some things out. Come back. Um, to the original one and then I could uh, turn that off so that I can't zoom in and out can't zoom in and out and I would turn it back on to, to be able to do that again so just some couple things there I want to change my stylus I'm gonna hit that icon I'll be able to change you know select a different stylus um, white something out if I want to and again if I want to get back I can also touch the navigation ball and return to home and be able to do some other things there. So just some real quick things uh, as we add, like maybe a Google Drive app and do all that. Well, they'll show up here. We can then uh, sync things to the web to be able to access. Uh, storage is now this little folder here. Get to our storage. You touch this top uh, rectangular bar, and then you got access to all these files inside, folders inside. Go back. And we can do a number of other things. These settings where we can ch change some of the features are going to be here. We hit that and we can have access to that. Hit connect to our internet and so forth. So uh, just a real quick brief intro to get you started. And I'll be adding some more videos as we go here. A couple other things I wanted to show on the newer model that are now available is when you are in a... Uh, let's say a huddle practice script and we're inside here and I want to turn something, uh, rotate it. You're now going to have this option to rotate and you can always pull down from the top and we can rotate. But now when we rotate, 
There is an auto rotate vertically, horizontally, or rotate manually. I still prefer the rotate manually, but you can play around with these other ones. It's important to know that if I want to rotate, you know, landscape. So if I want to turn this, I'm going to hit the second one from the left, and it's going to turn it horizontally. So now, as I change the coach pad to landscape, it'll fill that screen as I have a huddle practice script. And then when I want to change it back, I would pull down, hit rotate, and I'm going to hit the last one on the right. And that'll throw it back to how it was previously in portrait. And that's going to be important to move it back to portrait as I go to say the notes application. Whenever I go to the notes application, I always want to make sure that I'm in a portrait landscape, that sticker down the bottom and, and reading it like a book. Because once I go in here and I open up a, a notepad, those, those templates that we have are created in a portrait or landscape style. So you'll see there's a portrait and landscape. So they're made to stay that way. So if I choose a landscape template, for instance, and I drop that in there, it's now going to be in that landscape. So I don't need to rotate the screen because I just turn the device with the otter box holder on the back and I'm ready to go. So hopefully that makes sense. But again, just, just uh, remember that when I go into the notes application, I want to make sure that the screen is rotated back to portrait as I work with everything. Feel free to ask me questions. Another um, process that a lot of coaches do is they add uh, bookshelves in the library and they add folders into the uh, notes. So I wanted to show how that looks here on the new, new model. So I'll go into the library to start off with. So I have a bookshelf, the football resources that we put all those PDFs in. As you add more scout cards, maybe you want to add a new bookshelf. So I go up here, create a bookshelf. And when I hit create a bookshelf, I'm going to be able to retype maybe um, a game, you know, game one, game two. And I can put a bookshelf in a bookshelf. So if I, let's just say the football resources. If I go in here, I can create a bookshelf in here. So that means I could have this be 2023 season. And then inside here, I could have game weeks for all my teams that I'm going to be playing. And then this way, as I drop my huddle practice scripts or other scout cards from a pro computer program, I can then organize them into a folder kind of um, structure, or they're called, again, they're called bookshelves here in the library. Now, when I'm in the notes application, we call them folders. And so here again, just like before, I can always come up here and create a folder. And for instance, you know, let's just create, you know, game one. And I always like to do zero one just so that it stays in order as they go. So let's say there's a game one folder. And whenever I go inside of a folder, there's always going to be the create a notepad. It's always going to be there. So if I'm out here and I want to move something in, I could long press on it. And you can do this in the library as well. And I can move things to different folders. Okay, so now that's stuck in there. You see it's zero one. And if I go in there... There's that notepad. So I'm in game one folder and there's my notepad. Again, I can long press on it and I can rename it right here, copy it, do some other things. And again, more videos to come on that. I can sync it. And then anytime you want to delete something, um, you just hold down on it and then you can uh, delete it. So let me see. I'm going to delete that. It's going to drop all that. It's all gone. Double tap, go back to the home. Boom, there I go, and I can do some other things. So again, you can do that type of structure in both the library and the notes. Another nice feature on these newer models that a lot of you have is the uh, the front light. So you see I have the sun there with a line through it. Uh, you know, I can pull down on here and I can access the, the front light. So if I hit these, I can turn on both of those and adjust them with the sliders. I can adjust them together by linking them together. So now they're linked. So as I move one, they'll both move together. Or I can unlink. Okay. Uh, I do advise that when you turn it off, when you're done, you just hit these to turn off the lights just to save the battery. So that's a quick way to turn those lights on. And then you can also access your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and do some other things there. So 
Uh, again, I'll show you some more on some videos, but that just kind of gets you going there. And then finally, just to close it out, uh, just this brief intro. Again, more videos will come. But, uh, you know, let's say you're done. You want to turn this off. You can always just hold the button down for a little bit, and you'll be able to choose power off. You can also tap the navigation ball and there's a little power icon there where you can then power off. And that's it. When you're done, you'll just turn it off and it'll go to the coach pad screen.